This is Jessica Miller, your ed tech coach. Today, I want to show you three different ways that the work that you are doing in Canvas can be shared. So how do you share the load of creating and delivering online curriculum? I have three ways for you today. Number one is the brand new feature. It's called a direct share. I'll show you where to find that. Number two is to import content from another course. And you can do that either by an, importing an entire course or selectively importing. I'll show you how to do that. And number three is something that you might already be aware of, but there's pre-made content available through Canvas Commons, and I'll show you how to get a hold of that as well. So the first one I told you about was the direct share, and you can find this in your course navigation here, either under assignments or under the quizzes navigation. You will not see this feature under modules. So let's go to assignments. In my assignments view, I see a list of all the assignments that I have created. And if I go to the far right from the title all the way over, I see this three dot jelly bean menu. And when I click on that, I now have the option to send to or copy to. Now copy to will let me send that assignment directly to another one of my own Canvas courses. So if you have something similar between different levels or different grade levels or different content areas that you might teach, you can copy it over to that other course and modify it in the other course as needed. The send to feature is going to allow you to actually put in the information for the recipient you want to have this. So if you have a colleague or a team member, then you can put it in here and it will start populating some options here as you type. Once you find the, pers the appropriate person within our organization, you can select them and then confirm that you wanna send it to them. And notice you can send it to more than one colleague at a time. Once that is sent, it appears in their account and they can place it where they like. So that is the direct share brand new feature. Gotta love it. A second option is to import from another course. And if I'm going to do that, I need to go to my settings. And over here on the far right column, I have the option here to import course content. I'm going to select copy a Canvas course. And I have access to do this for any course in which I am listed as a teacher or as a designer. So now if I'm a teacher, I have access to all of the gradebook information, but if I'm a designer, I have access to all of the content without the gradebook information. So you can make your colleagues a designer in your course, and then they could come here, copy a Canvas course, and input that information. Now. All content would take everything from that other course and it would take over whatever you have. So if you're starting from scratch, that could be an option for you. But for most of what you're needing, selecting specific content will be more helpful to you. Now, it looks a little weird because at this point you go, well, how do I choose? And you actually have to click the blue import button before you're given the option to select the specific content. Once that has opened up down here, you will see waiting for selection and here is your blue button to select the specific content. Once you have pushed that blue button to select the content, you'll notice these different categories of content that would be available to you from that other course. Now, if I just want the whole selection, I can click the box but it's more likely that I want specific pieces of content. So maybe I just want to grab a specific module, such as all the amazing information that's in the EdTech world. Perhaps I want specific pages. And if I click that little arrow, it expands the options that are there. The A to Z index is an amazing resource. Oh, look, there's information about screencasting. That might be useful right about now. So I can pick and choose whatever the specific pieces are that I want. And I can also go and grab specific files, particularly any images or 
question banks that might be going with a quiz. Once I have made my choices, then I would select content and I would wait while it queues up. The little blue running bar is a good sign and it's all done. Then I can go back into my course navigation to find those pieces of content and make use of them in the way that I choose. Now, an add-on to that, I told you before that you could be a designer in somebody else's course. Another option would be if you wanted to create a shell course that you and your colleagues could all work on together. So for example, here's a shell course for Geography B. This team manually created this course so it is not connected to a Skyward roster and they are all teachers in this course so they can create content for each other together collaboratively and then they can selectively import from the shell into their own classes. So if you wanted to make a shell course to manually create in Canvas, you would come to Courses and then All Courses and you should have a button towards the top labeled Add Course. And from that you can name it and add the people to it that you want to have access and that way you can all collaboratively build and share from that platform. Finally, the third thing I want to share with you is Commons. And it used to be the only way people could share through Canvas. But now if you go here along the blue bar, which is your account navigation, you come to Commons. And when you click that open, you will find there is a lot of content in here for all sorts of courses. Now you'll want to filter it and you can look for specific pages. Some people have shared out entire modules or individual assignments. Some people have built entire courses that you could tap into and make use of. So you'll want to search for it. And I know that a lot of people right about now are struggling with how to make math work in Canvas. So if you look up math and you see here, here's some videos that you can make use of. You see the grade level that's there. And if you keep going, there's just a ton of stuff that's there. Okay. You can also filter according to what you are looking for. Maybe you want particular assignments on a specific topic. Maybe you want some assessment pieces, or maybe you specifically do want videos. You can filter that down according to what's appropriate for your grade level lots of different ways to filter. Another group that I know is searching for some online content and struggling with that includes our special education population. So you can search for that as well and find some items that are um, specifically designed for your student population. Well, I hope this helps you out. Three different ways to help you share the load, either a direct share from your course to another course, a selective import from a course in which you are a teacher or a designer, including a shell course that you and your teammates have created manually, and three, using the Canvas Commons to make use of the content that has been created and posted for people to share. I hope this helps you out. Remember, you can reach out to me. I have my EdTech hours Monday through Friday, 10 to 1130. You can join me on Google Meets using the code EdTechJessica, all lowercase, all blended together like one word. Take care.